Wolf. Wasting our time, AJ. We yeah. talked about a bunch of dumb heavy characters. Yeah, now you're we got right. two top tiers. Everybody loves the Doria, but instead that we're going to get Wolf uh, shooting lasers. And we're going to be seeing Link on the other side, a uh, French tutor. I like Link. that. I actually, that's a pretty unique name. I like it. Now, Link uh, definitely is one that wants to zone out, but also with the, the kill potential compared to, like, Young Link, definitely is a little bit more capable of playing the boxing game with uh, Wolf up close. Right, right. Yeah, Link's got some decent out of shield options in the form of Nair and back here. But definitely, I think we're going to try and see some bomb set up from French Tutor. If not, just a couple of these follow ups with the boomerang, at least. There'll be some projectiles involved for sure. Exactly. You know, just using the bomb to force. Uh, smock into the corner yep. is where you want to succeed here. Like, last thing you want to do is be playing against Wolf in center stage. But Link has some pretty good edge guarding tools between the boomerang and drop down nares. Yeah. And smock looks like he's ready. He scouted out the roll. Knocked French Shooter back off to the side. The bomb play here. So we got. Nope, no longer in play. Now just he said we're not off. playing with these bombs, Jake. This is, uh, this is mine. I don't want this gone. Oh, all right. The boomerang coming back. Good awareness. Actually opting to jump up and throw the reflector out. We might see that utilized uh, a little further. There's that out of shield option you were talking about before. I'll be out of shield if you start to play a little bit too heavy on shield there with the jumping in nares. Decided to stay grounded though. He's going to catch him with the dash attack instead. A little too focused on getting the hit in on the bomb. Smock was so ready with the dash attack to answer. Big. And again, they're, they're right there. He decided to do the short hop in. Already ready for it with that up B. Definitely think that, did not think that was going to kill there either. No, I don't think it was supposed to, but that's an argument for another time. Down smash not going to hit. And some good percentage from French Tutor answer back with the up B. Uh, French Tutor find, uh, find his landing ears, but he's consistently getting boxed back out. Right. Like we were talking about the boxing game that Link can do with uh, Wolf here, but he's taking way more damage on these trades where he decides to go in. Nice, I like that. Running out of jumps and resources. Knew he had to avoid the boomerangs going for the up B, but... Still finding the hit with the up smash. Oh, that's, a, that's yeah, he wanted to get that bomb release uh, explosion there, but the bomb actually not in place to be able to help him out. Oh, all right, sneaking the reflector in. Oh, wow, grab armor through the boomerang as well, unfortunate. Hey, if you, if, uh, you, know, you realize that their projectiles are not working, just keep going in on them, and Smok is doing sure. that very, very well so far. Yep, I mean, oh. it's, it's that boomerang right there, ill-advised, and all of a sudden Smok got two forward airs. And the stage control. Definitely that usually tends out. to be a, a spot where a lot of Link players in particular take a lot of damage. Right. Just feeling like they're going to be safe pulling out their uh, boomerang or their bomb. And Smok is hunting for it, but French Tutor hunting for that. And Petit General Edgeguard 2 going to set him up to go high with the recovery. Very clean closeout. I like it. Only 57%, but one stock apiece. I've never known Link to be a big combo character, but... We definitely put it together, especially when a lot of these neutral exchanges. Yeah, I know Link still has like he has single hit uh, back air that confirms it to up tilt, which could be a potential kill confirm. He looks for on Smock, okay. but Smock has been doing a good job just getting the small trades, yeah. and he's been out zoning Link. He's been preventing uh, French Shooter from getting any setup. Yeah, well, at the same time, Smock looks like he wants to move on. Back air is going to help him. You're right. He didn't want to move on. <laughs> <laughs> he wanted to move on really bad, setting him up into that jump. It's a little bit of pain in coming in from Devin over there. I think every time Wolf <laughs> back air hits, he just wins. I know it's his birthday, but he actually uses a, like, uses a little bit of a... loses some life. I'm, I'm going to forget this part. I lost it, man. I'm sorry. I'm just Thank gonna, you for tuning in to Collision Yeah, I'm going to unplug the mic. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to put you guys through that painful exchange there. We got game two coming up. <laughs> uh, Smock, Smock and French Tutor. Don't talk. No, that's it. no, no you're bro, right. You right, right. Shot, bro. No, go ahead. Put me on mute. I'm done. Where's our day? <laughs> we need to switch the schedule, bro. We need to change the commentary schedule. <laughs> All right. Don't worry, guys. It's your boy, AG, here with the solo cat. Oh, no, Devin. All right, Devin. No, no, back no. On. All right. He, he's giving me a second chance. All right. So going into game two here. Nova. Definitely not a stage we see often. This is the first time that I've seen it draw today, too. I love. I'm a personal, like, Love for this stage. Stage blows. <laughs> oh yeah, this is another one me and you argue about. No, no, it's alright. It's, <laughs> no, it's a pretty good stage, especially for uh, Wolf. Link? Actually, what? <laughs> like it's good for Link because of the chases he has. But yeah. Wolf gets uh, longer true combo setups because of the length of the platform being able to full hop on there. So hopefully this doesn't come back to bite French Tutor. I do think it's pretty interesting. It's like just different enough from Kalos. A lot of people sort of consider them the same. But the way that the platforms are sort of draped over the ledge on Kalos is very important. Mm -hmm. And it's here they're sort of a little more towards the middle and not necessarily draped over the ledge, I think, is important. So. 
exactly. And also, like, where the positioning is, it's way easier to be more likely to want to jump to ledge uh, right, or right, jump right. to the top platform. You feel comfortable, but you already see Smok is looking for that. It's like, that's how you bait them into that. Yep, let them know, especially if you're Wolf. Pro oh my god, dude. Dash like cancel, that. That, dash cancel forward to I haven't seen a whole lot of that today. But good stuff for Smok. Breaking it out, trying to find this hit, but no luck. Big boomerang. What do we got? Ball and fair. Oh, up be out of shield. That's where he's getting most of his mileage. Like, if they're going to keep playing on shield like this, keep utilizing it. Sure. It's going to be on Smok to adjust to it. F tilt just smacking him away. And there we go. Gets the bomb explosion he wants, but just out of positioning to be able to get himself back down. You got to make him try, you know? Yeah. Like, yeah, I guess he died, but you're going to die anyway. Might as well just make him try. Yeah, it's going to make you feel comfortable, let you live a little bit longer. Yeah. All right, back to neutral. Wolf. Oh my god, the jab lock and tip jab. Oh, only opted like to it. go for, uh, he went for all three jabs. If he went for two, he could have potentially went for a down tilt into something big. Maybe, but got the throw combo into dash attack. Probably not something I would have expected to get up attack there. Yeah, I'm just trying to keep it relatively even. You know, the Spock has been outpacing him for the most part, but where the big damage comes in, when he gets caught on those fairs, like it, it, Link is outpacing him in terms of damage. All right, another, going for another forward throw tech chase, just missing up B. Just slightly off timing. Yeah, it looks like Smok's actually trying to bait out those up Bs now. Like, he was yep. jumping over him repeatedly to get him to pull the trigger. Oh, my goodness. All right, so if there's one thing I'll ever complain about this character, it's that. He was able to pull him from the, the stage on the left-hand side. But because of that weird knockback from Wolf, it sends you to the right. That's wild. That's shouts to lead. I remember, you know, that, that last little hitbox he was mm -hmm. talking about. Wolf's little foot just has this wild knockback. And we saw it there going straight right from the right hand side that's of the a plot armor like, kick optimal, like it's like you know honestly, what we like, need to we need to change this up real quick i know this is looking bad for you so we're, we're gonna go ahead and fix this for you that's what gets me bro is like it was exactly the right knockback <laughs> <laughs> like just enough to get the kill yeah and smock right. doing a good job holding on to his stock yet again but finally getting called out at the ledge with that jump nair yeah just threw out a couple of nairs eventually french tutor had to hit one of them you know 74 percent not an impossible deficit. Hey, you see French Tutor, he's trying really hard to run away to set up, but this is the time. It's like, all right, Smok sees that he's trying to get back. He's just going to keep hunting him down. Yep. All right, the Nair's trading. Probably now French Tutor needs some room to breathe finally. Back throw. All right, French Tutor's like, you know what? All right, this time I'm going to start going in. He's trying to find his opening. He needs to rack up his damage. He could potentially steal the game with an early edge guard. That's still a thing that you could do to Wolf. Yeah. 71%, honestly, he might not even need that early edge guard now. It's just about kill percent almost. We'll see. He tries to go for the up air. Whoa, ambitious double shine. Yeah, I don't know what he was trying to bait out there. Potentially an arrow in front, but French shooter did not give it to him. And he is at upbeat kill percent if he's on the left hand side there. He needs to be careful. Oh, he dug deep, but he gets attacked. And there's another attack. He's able to make it back, and Spock actually ends up dying for all of that. So smart. The, I'm, like, he basically said, all right, you have to tech or you're dead. And if you do tech, I got you anyway. And, and also, good mental awareness from French Tutor because that tech situation came in for him too, yep. and he was able to keep himself alive because if he missed that, we would have been seeing a different victory screen in 2-0 and a handshake. Uh, definitely a lot of things to think about going into this game three. Firstly, the fact that there is a game three. You know, if you were smart, yeah. you're probably like, all right, like, I got it, man, after the first one. Yeah, it definitely didn't seem like it was going to make it there. And, um, you know, that's that, that could be the momentum that helps carry French Tutor. I don't think that we're going to see a switch off of Wolf whatsoever. Like, he, he got closer, yeah. and he, but he was definitely starting to get a bit of a read on where those upbees were coming from. And uh, he was getting a little bit better at just making sure he rushed him down at the right points because French Tutor was trying to regain his footing, and he couldn't. Or you could just go get it, or for me, go get it. <laughs> <laughs> I, was gonna, I was about thinking the same thing, man. <laughs> Really thinking about it. That's stage select screen here. Yeah, he's taking his time here. Bro, he's taking a sip. Gotta stay hydrated, Ajax. Drink your H2O, you know? folks. It's very good for you. That's why you saw, what was it, top eight of, um, what do you call it? You know, light Nimbus. With the, Nimbus? Yeah. Light, light with the chug jug? Well, uh, Tweak with the chug jug, too. Oh, true, true. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Actually, no, Light had the chug jug at Frostbite. Tweak Frostbite. had the chug yeah, jug yeah. at Nimbus. Very important, man. Yeah. <laughs> They won't believe us, though, because uh, apparently, according to Twitter, they believe that in New England, we just have, like, direct lines of Monster and Red Bull injected no, into our play, We just play like that. Yeah. 
Someone said on <laughs> someone said on Twitter like New England does like a line. Yo, yeah, yeah, that, that's exactly what I'm referencing. I'm saying, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right, going into game three here, uh, uh, saying, keeping bro, it exactly the same. It's a rich person's drug, man. <laughs> yeah, we, we got that type of money over yeah. there. <laughs> Dead even. Smash Roll, probably the stage I would have picked as well. One of my one of my favorite stages, if you are a character who uh, has a good neutral. Wolf, mm -hmm. a bit of a and controversial also, opinion of mine, has a good neutral. <laughs> it also has the ability to extend uh, off of a good up air. Ooh, they just pulling back just enough to put the hitbox out. Very ballsy move. That, was, that could have been his stock. Pixels, man. Game of pixels. Big Nair knocking him right back off. Only 40% on Smock and a big claw coming in. And that's his jump. He's, yeah, if he had no other option there, he had to go for that down B. Or uh, the, the bomb explosion. That did not come in through him. All right, Nair keeping him out. Projectiles trying to do the same, but not quite. Big yeah, back. Smock, yeah, Smock playing a mid-range uh, mid game very well right now. He's just throwing in these jump Nairs, just getting quick damage and backing off. He's not overcommitting. Down throw is not going to get the dash attack uh, off that tech injury, but he's going to force him to the ledge again. Whoa, all right. I thought he was just going to go for it and connect it, but that little bit of hesitation. Hey, sometimes you just got to go for it. When you got somebody yeah. who's uh, pressuring you like that, it's like, look, just do whatever you can to get them off of you. Right. Th all right, still putting the pressure on French Tutor with the boomerang. Got to make it back to the ledge, though, Smock. Still looking all right. And French setting him up potentially for a future ledge trap option, throwing out those triple nares, and uh, probably going to see an F-Tilt next time he comes back on stage. But Smock staying in the center. Get the rack on damage yet again. Whoa, big forward air. Still not going to kill. And the bomb won't either, but we're running out of places to run. F-Tilt going to come in 89% before that back air. Yeah, it may have been, not have been on the ledge, but you definitely got to make sure you don't drop that situation there. When he lands directly in front of you, you better seal that out. 130 is French gonna die. Well, it looked like a pretty obvious jump in hindsight. Yeah, I definitely agree on the pretty obvious because, at, like, towards the tail end of these last two games, French has gotten really comfortable with jumping, particularly after, like, the second or third interaction. Right. After uh, Smock has already set him up with a couple of nares at the stage. Like, all right, I can't roll on. I'm scared. No, I'm gonna jump. Yep. And he's setting him up with these backers. That's. Really, really stressful at this point. I think setting the tone to Smock caught a roll on the very first interaction they had at the ledge. She was just ready for a turnaround grab, so definitely got to put the fear of God into you. Exactly. Oh, getting him on the roll read with that force match, too. This is starting to derail pretty fast. Gets a reverse of the up -e, but doesn't extend past the ledge. I've seen that kill pretty early, too. Gets the but jump sick. read with himself. So sick. He put the pressure on just with his presence. Got him the fade back, hit him with the forward air. Say, you know, you tutor. got jump reads, you got conditioning, I got it too. French uh, French Tutor trying to bring this back for him. 74%. Alright, big F tilt, not gonna right back off. No two frame on the F tilt too, luckily for him, because he's, we've already seen him go down, and he hasn't consistently gotten those bomb recoveries, so. Where the boomerang on MIA? <laughs> Alright, forward throw here, gonna knock him back off. 123 is a dangerous spot to be in. Those F tilts are gonna be dangerous soon. And not to mention the back airs. And you saw right there, too. You saw the patience coming from French Tutor at that time. It's like, wait, I've been caught in these jumps. Now what do I do? And Smock right. was already waiting. He didn't pull the trigger early. All right, but some good defensive options here from French. Got him a pretty big opening and a lot of stage control. What can he do? Boomerang not going to connect. And that's one of those times where you need to get a read on what just happened. Smock just jumped to rush back into center stage. Right. He might be a little bit scared about his recovery. Yep. And that's where French Tutor needs to capitalize. Oh, but the back throw. Oh, Ooh, not gonna be it. That is a thick boy with a lot of equipment on right now, but doesn't matter because he doesn't get the last hit of that up beat to uh, save him that time. He had it before, but he's not gonna take it over. What a solid run. Now again, like after game one, I was like, all right, Smock's got it. Who's up next though? And French said, whoa, whoa, like, I still got it. I got, I got some fight left in me. Yeah, I definitely felt the same way. Close. You know, it's uh, he he wasn't really able to meet Smock at um a lot of the points where he was getting zoned out. Right. It's like, all right, now I got to go in. And he played right into the wheelhouse of Smock. Yep. Game two, though, he really changed it up a lot. And game True. three, that last stock of second two, that's where I thought he was going to make the comeback. Yes. But Smock was able to keep himself composed. That happens to a lot of players. Like, you have a lead, a big lead at that. Right, right. And then they get that stock in the way that they do. And then they start fishing. It's like, all right, I got to get this kill. That's right. how you get body. You yep. can't do that. No, you just got to play the same exact way. Obviously, well, a little different, yeah. you know, but same idea for sure. 
this. You have to remember like how you got the success in the first place. Exactly. You don't have to start playing yeah, wild. Don't start changing up your blueprint because if the moment you start doing that too much, you're just setting yourself up for defeat. You have to you have to know your game plan to keep it well. Oh, okay. I it's taking me a second, but I realize this. So SoCal Invader we talked about before. Uh, that is Nico on the oh, other side. Yeah. One of the characters that I've been saying is so underplayed and so frightening in this current game's meta is Shulk. And Nico being really the premier Shulk of the game right now. Um, I don't know who he's playing currently, but um, just having the option just of past it. What are they do? What are they doing? I don't know, man. <laughs> I'm still mad that they like took away uh, name slots. Yes. Like, how do we yeah, get yeah. less name slots going into a new game? There's a lot of features I don't like about this game. Yeah, Paul, not being able to hit pause uh, to clear out the end of a match. Even dumb things like. The fact that they made Town and City the biggest stage or like in certain aspects, it's like, how, bro? Like, it was the smallest. Yeah. And now you're telling me it's the biggest? Well, like, speaking of stages, too, why do we not have an option to just hit no hazards where right. Omega and stuff is? Also, the fact that, like, all right, Smashville platform, that's a hazard. Town and City platform? No, <laughs> that's, that's fine, bro. <laughs> uh, that was good. That was, that was good. good. Yeah, so a, a couple of things here and there that I, I disagree with, but... Still, we got plenty of good things. And um, I know that I remember seeing something about interface changes on the list for patch 3.0. So most likely that'll be, well, we'll get, obviously we're going to get Joker. Uh, hopefully the interface change wasn't just, hey, we added Joker to the character select screen. And uh, maybe there's a couple of comfort of life things that they added back to it. Bro, did they call each other? This is like